She wanted to make a difference. She wanted to find a cure. She wanted to help people that couldn't help themselves. She wanted to help people that were afraid, you know, to face this, you know, that face this disease. To really have the kind of effect in terms of fundraising and outreach and research, we'll never know what her whole impact is. And that's part of the greatness of it, I think, the exponential hope, if you will, um, that she built. I, I use Kate as an example every day in my office. Uh, she was a seeker all the time for what's next to get better and how to get better. And, uh, and she was a believer too. Things are looking uh, very much up in terms of targeted personalized therapies that uh, will become available. And, and I think that we will always remember Kate as the one that, uh, through her support of Coleman, uh, really helped develop a lot of that research, uh, develop the funding for it, uh, develop funding here in Nebraska for the research. They, they, she uh, has done a, a tremendous job. She will not be forgotten. She was amazing. And, and part of it was just that strength of mind, strength of willpower, um, wanting to do certain things in her life. She still felt she had things to accomplish. She was a saint among us. She never held a banner in front of herself, but look how good I am, or look how brave I am. I mean, she was just a, a common lady doing such uncommon things.